Let me ask you this. Do you have what it takes to be a hero? Do ya? Do ya? Do you have what it takes to be a hero? Hi, my name is Julia and I am a teacher and a writer and today I'm gonna give you my one minute review of the audio version of How to Train Your Dragon by Cressida Cowell. I'm gonna tell you three things that I love about this audiobook. Number one, number one reason, it's funny, hilarious. I'm not kidding, I think this might be the funniest book I have ever read, seriously. And that's only enhanced in the audio version because this is read by David Tennant. Yeah, that David Tennant. Uh, from Doctor Who, Harry Potter, Broadchurch, or as we know it in North America, Grace Point for some reason, which by the way, was filmed in my little village just down the street from me. What? David Tennant has a way of making this hilarious book even funnier. The second reason you need to read this book is because of the way Cressida Cowell writes. She has this amazing ability to make prose beautiful but still accessible to young readers and funny all at the same time. It is such a rarity. My number three reason is that Hiccup doesn't become a hero by morphing into someone else. He doesn't discover something magical about himself. He's not even trying to be a hero. He's just trying to get by. And if you would have asked him at the beginning of the book, do you have what it takes to be a hero? He would have said an unequivocal no, no. But in this story, he finds himself in circumstances that require his own abilities, abilities that are not valued by his culture. And yet without those abilities, he never would have been able to Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what happens. Needless to say, Hiccup does have what it takes to be a hero, even though nobody else can see it, not even him. That's my one minute review of How to Train Your Dragon, the audio version read by David Tennant, and of course written by Cressida Cowell. Please go and check it out from your local library.